Hey, this is Stephen from Wild Stuff. Welcome to the show. In this video, I'll be testing out some of my new toys, namely the Canon EOS R7 and the RF 800mm f11 to see how they go when taking pictures of Jupiter and Saturn. The R7 is Canon's latest addition to their camera lineup and has a 1.6 crop APS-C sensor, meaning that when you combine it with this 800mm lens, you get a 1280mm equivalent field of view. A few years back I made a video about Jupiter and Saturn featuring the Sigma 150-600mm contemporary lens mounted on a Canon M6 Mark II, but now that I've switched to the RF system I'm keen to see what difference the extra 200mm makes and if the fixed aperture of f11 really causes any problems or not. The lens mounts directly onto the camera with no adapters needed and I won't be using any teleconverters either. To make things easier I will be shooting with the optional lens hood, I've got a gimbal head for my tripod which lets me swing it in any direction I like and I'll be shooting with a remote shutter release cable. So I'm set up in the backyard now with what seems like the first clear skies we've had all year. Finding your target with an 800mm lens can be an exercise in frustration. At least with the Sigma, you can start wide and then zoom in once you've found it, but there's no such luxury with an 800mm prime. At 10 times magnification in live view, the main cloud bands on Jupiter are clearly visible. With the Earth's rotation, it doesn't take long to disappear out of the frame, and as expected, I had to keep chasing it and reframing the shot. So I'll start off with some video from the R7. This is what the camera sees from the full width of the sensor. The largest planet in our solar system, more than twice as massive as every other planet and moon combined, with a diameter of 140,000 kilometers, is barely a little cluster of pixels on the screen. Now the Canon R7 has a little extra trick up its sleeve, and that is being able to record video in a 4K crop mode. I haven't read into the full details of this, but to my understanding, it records 4K video from a cropped central area of the frame, as opposed to the full width of the sensor, which means I can get in a little closer. And I can also blow it right up on the screen to show the details up close. You can also clearly see many of Jupiter's moons by deliberately overexposing the shot, but in doing so you'll lose all the detail on Jupiter itself. So I've finished with Jupiter now and we'll swing around to check out Saturn. At 10 times magnification in live view, you can clearly see Saturn's rings. But in regular uncropped video, it's a barely recognisable dot on the screen. Four K crop video mode improves things a bit, and the rings are visible again. So long story short, the RF 800mm f11 can get noticeably more detail of the planets than the Sigma 150-600, but neither are a substitute for a proper telescope. The 800mm should be a fantastic lens for shooting the moon. I managed to fire off a few shots once I'd finished with Saturn, but it wasn't long before the clouds rolled in and halted my plans. Here's a quick clip for the time being, and when the skies clear up I might get some more for a future video. Thanks for watching.